<laughs> we don't have a lot of time left here. We are captivated by the little display here um, uh, from our friend Andy and the Cosworth Electronics. How are you, man? Very good. Thanks for a good time. Been a uh, long three days, but uh, yeah, good. Thanks. Well, you, someone just set up an alarm, dude. I think maybe some <laughs> interference running out of your electronics here. Um, maybe it's my boss who's uh, frightened that I'm near a camera. <laughs> well, listen, Andy. <laughs> um, you know, we. Uh, let's see, who's that? We um, uh, we're, we're we're pretty captivated by what you guys are going on here. We read an article yep. in Seahorse. Maybe it was November. That's right. Yeah, um, about yeah. uh, the new sort of data boxes that are in use on some of the bigger mi or some of the, the, the higher profile mini maxis, um, uh, like like Ron and uh, and some of the other boats. Yeah, yeah. You guys are behind a lot of that stuff, and and, and frankly, I'm just sort of looking at some of what you got. It's pretty fascinating stuff. Can you walk us through what Cosworth Electronics is doing? And this is, first of all, this is yeah. the Formula One team, right? This is Cosworth. That's, that's right. That's exactly right, yeah. We're the electronics division of, uh, of the Cosworth Group. How long ago did you branch into sailing? Well, it was uh, an interesting um, time, actually. We were uh, some, some, some people involved in the last America's Cup cycle, so in the Valencia uh, America's Cup cycle. One of the teams was uh, sponsored by Red Bull. And they approached the Red Bull uh, Formula One racing team for some help on data acquisition and um, data analysis. Um, and the Red Bull Formula One team said, um, here's the number of Cosworth Electronics. These are the guys you need to talk to. Fair enough. Um, so that, uh, that led us into working, working with, um, it was a victory challenge team um, in Valencia. And then at roughly the same time, UK Sport, um, the, the lottery sort of funded um, body in the UK, approached us um, with some, some interesting projects that they were looking at. Um, bobsleigh team, you know, skeleton bob, uh, cycling team. All for the Olympics. At, all, for the, all for their Olympic programming, uh, programs. And um, all about performance analysis, so logging data wherever, you know, if, if, you, if you can measure it then you can analyze it and you can look to improve it. And that's that's kind of where the, a lot of the drive comes from. Um, so, so real, get, real quick, I mean, give me an idea of, uh, of what your core products are here. So, um, on that, along those lines, um, So this is our this is our core um, entry level data logger. It's called the the Pi Garda. Um, this is a box we developed um, specifically for sailing. It's um, um, been used by um, Sal Rocket on some speed speed runs. Yeah. It's uh, been used by the British Olympic squad. I'm um, guessing it's waterproof and it's, it's sort completely of... waterproof. I think this actual box has been dragged behind Sal Rocket at about 48 knots. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So, so yeah, it's fully waterproof, self-powered, self-run unit. You know, eight-hour battery charge in there. You plug it in, you go sailing, you come back, you download your data, and you can look at it. So, what what data is it pulling? Just just the basic box. What is it taking? The basic box um, ha has a GPS receiver in there and a tri-axis accelerometer. So it'll take um, position, acceleration, heading, speed, that kind of stuff. Um, and then on top of that, we can take in up to six other analog uh, like, sensors. For instance, and, and you showed me that this is, this this boat. This is out of May. This is out of May. Uh, and uh, on his uh, on his Mach two, is it? That's his Mach two. Yeah. That's and right, so yeah. so he's got more than just speed. What else has he got? And what does that look like? Um, on 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 Adam's boat, we've also got um, an IMU, an inertial measurement unit. Um, is that this thing this right is here. This little baby here. Pitch and roll. Yeah, pitch and roll. And then you so, can see right up here. You can watch the pitch and roll numbers. Now I think it's synced. And how do you how do you do this? Where you sync it to video? Basically, what we've got here is we've on the, on the box um, we have uh, we take the, the information in from from the IMU. So that's all um, GPS time synced with the information that the box is is is, is collecting anyway. Um, and then you, you just you, time sync the video. You basically run the video. You put your camera on your boat. You go sailing. You come back. You download your information. Into our into our toolbox software, and then you drag and drop your video in, and, and, and basically what you can do is enter an offset um, to time sync. And so what Adam tends to do, I'll just uh, run you through to the beginning. Okay, that's about there. There's the 108 degree roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
that's uh, that's that's um, on its side launching a moth in, right. in, 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 in its in its finest. Okay. So the box also has a, a spike button. Okay. So you can see there he's he's waving his video, waving his arm, yeah. and hitting a spike button, which will put a spike in the in the um, in, in the, the recordings, data. and then we can just enter an offset. Uh, Got it. So. Um, and this is your software as well. This is our software. So if you you know you buy one of our products, you get a license to use the software. The software. Is this? It fundamentally, it's the same software as a Formula One. You see a Formula One engineer sitting in front of um, during a race weekend. You know, it's obviously been adapted and uh, you know rewritten certain certain parts of the programming for the marine industry um, and for, for sailing in general. But we put a few things in there. You can the box will actually pick up every time you tack. And it'll as, automatically as log attack? It'll automatically log attack as an event. It's, as I've said that, it's not actually picked it up on this bit of data that I've, I've shown you, which is pretty average. But um, yeah, it would actually automatically pick up um, every time you tack the jibe. So you can actually, at the end of the day, you can run a list of your tacks and jibes. It will measure your speed in, lowest speed during, and your speed out. Um, and then you can obviously run that back with, with video so you can see what tax you're good, why, yeah. why you were good and why you were bad. Um, so this entry level product which is uh, about 2,000 uh, uh, pounds, is that right, 2, or euros? 2,000 British, 2,000 British. So about the same as euros now? Or? Same, yeah, not worth an awful lot to be perfectly honest. So now in this one you could put you could put in like an inertial sensor like you, you said. put this, this IMU unit into What else? Can, could, can people, I mean this this is not, you know, this is not $100,000 like some of your Formula One type no, stuff. No, absolutely um, not. So can you use, I mean, can guys who are looking to save a little money use their existing, uh, uh, you know, their whatever other, their wind their wind sensor, yeah, their, yeah, their tactic yeah. wind sensor, can they use that? Absolutely. They can? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a tactic. We have a, a, an interface with a tactic system, so if you have a wireless um, tactic uh, wind instruments on your boat, we can read that data. And can you use, and can you use this to pump data out as well to like a, a, a display or something? Yeah. For customized yeah, yeah, displays? Yeah, yeah, I can uh, I can show you that. I mean, um, if we had, if you were running the Garda um, unit and... Um, oh, you have one right here. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one there. If you were running the Garda unit as well as um, a, a tactic um, network system, then we can not only... So we basically are interfaced with the wireless receiver here. Yeah, so, right. um, so our box would be recording the data from the um, uh, wind wand, so we'd be able to work out apparent wind speed and apparent wind angle from the raw data of true wind speed. Right. And, true wind angle. Um, and then um, we can also drive part of the tactic display, so you could um, run, if you had two or three of these on your boat, you could obviously you would have boat speed and heading and whatever you else you could also run information such as you could run pitch you could, you could run, you could run pitch run, yeah. you could run rudder angle i mean you know you can see if you had a rudder sensor on the boat you could run that information on that on that Got display it. all right and um if people want to know more about this figure out how to get it for their own boat where do they go Cosworth Electronics. Co. Cosworth Electronics. Yeah. Co. And from what I understand, you also have a network of because of your U.S. involvement in racing. Yeah. You've got a network of, of technicians in the states. We have technicians that can based fix in the things states. or install yeah. Yeah, things yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for, for some guys, race programs. We have some guys there that um, are, are used to using, you know, the the, the components, the, the, use, the the base products they're used to using. They know the software. It's all got software inside out. So if you know you. You, you, you started the system, but you're a bit confused and, or had an issue with the, with, the, with the software. They'll be able to help you out straight away. And, and obviously, uh, you know, I focused on the entry level program. We're going to wrap this up, but obviously, you have a full suite of, of Grand Prix programs that are we go, we go, yeah, right unbelievable up, right up in their the power. Top, yeah, yeah, I mean, right uh, top, yeah. so check out CosworthElectronics.co.uk for more. Uh, this is this is wave of the future kind of stuff. I like it. Cool. Thanks yeah. very much. All right. Thank you. Thanks for popping by. No problem.